Whoa. I saw these and I'm like, okay, perfect. But then I saw these and it's like the opposite. I win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm taking my time. The fronts already look really nice. I'm excited to see Thank them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. Do those three things and you'll automatically enter yourself into a giveaway that I explain a bit more in this video. So go check it out. Today we're not working on my 335. We're not working on a WRX. We're working on a 428 and we're installing really, really nice brakes. Actually, to be very honest, the nicest brakes I've ever seen. Uh, brake pads and rotors and uh, they were less than $300. Yeah, Canadian, so it's probably $48 US. Let me show you guys exactly what we're talking about here. Wow. So obviously these are the back because they're like really small, but these are beautiful. These are $300. I'm gonna be linking it down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves, but it's uh, come from a company called Transauto located actually here in Quebec, so that's really cool. They're cross-drilled and slotted, and they're just, they're really, really nice. I've installed brakes on the channel before, uh, countless times actually, but these have to have, they just have to be the absolute nicest brakes I've ever seen. Let's get the uh, front brakes out so you guys can see. So we're gonna be going with ceramic brake pads, basic stuff. Wow. That's a big boy. Like, just look at how nice these things are. I love the fact that this is coated black on the inside, and I love how the pattern that are, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bi-directional slots. So that's super cool. Comes in really nice packaging too. I like these boxes, I don't know why, but anyways, you can't tell me they don't look nice. For 300 bucks, are you kidding me? This whole kit, insane. So without further ado, let's get the car in the garage and uh, let's get to work. All right, so like any good brake change, we're gonna start by jacking up one side of the car. We're gonna start by, I guess, the passenger side since it's here. We have a lot of space, and uh, all the links of the, all the, everything I'm gonna be using is gonna be down in the description box below. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Let's get started. All right, so most calipers usually it's just held on by two bolts, and then. For BMWs, there's two hex bolts that hold on the caliper to the caliper bracket, and the caliper bracket is another two bolts. I think it's, I think they're 14s. I don't know what it is, but uh, this is what we're looking at. So in here, in this dust boot here, there's a hex bolt. Then over here, there's the bolt for the caliper bracket. So we're gonna get to removing all that and uh, swapping out the rotors. There's the dust boot in the back, so you just push this thing off. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. <laughs> they need to see what I'm doing. Yeah. So this is the gal caliper guide pin bolt. Uh, it's with an eight mil at the top. You just pull it out and then uh, I use some sort of a flathead or whatever and I just help pry it out. Oh. bunch of wiggling back and forth and I pulled it out and it actually finally came out with the, the rotor off. I'm gonna clean everything with some brake clean and then uh, wipe it down with a microfiber and then apply anti-seize around here so the next time we're trying to do this job it comes off a little bit easier. So on the passenger side because let's say the, the, the wheel is ro rotating this way the these cuts would be cutting off but they're they're the same. Yeah they're bi-directional so yeah. I guess in this case it wouldn't matter. But anyways, usually th those lines would need to cut into the brake pad, so that's that's what I would do. That's why I was I saw, I saw these and I'm like, okay, perfect. But then I saw these and it's like the opposite. Anyways, so these come full of grease from the factory to prevent rust. So what we're gonna have to do is also spray these down with some brake clean because um, well, or else <laughs> there's no point with the brakes. They're just gonna keep slipping. Now with the brake rotor clean. Everything's gonna be reassembled, so let's get everything right back onto the car. Yeah. 
Now I'll take a bit of engine grease and just put it on the caliper guide pin bolt on both of them. I win. <laughs> I'm almost there, I'm taking my time. It actually looks really nice in there. Like, it brings out the, the wheel, it looks, it looks a whole lot nicer. I can't wait to see the fronts. The fronts already look really nice. I'm excited to see Thank them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up his side and switch the car around and uh, then I'll get to the fronts to show you guys the fronts. All right, just got the car swapped around. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do the front. Pretty easy, it's a little, it's actually a little bit easier than the back. The back has the uh, parking brake inside the rotor, so whatever. But uh, let's get the wheel off and uh, let's start the brake pad assembly. So done. They actually look like really nice. But you guys can't even see them. Brakes are done and they actually look like really really nice. I'm actually kind of jealous because I actually painted mine black in the middle here to look like this and his came stock like that and they're bi... what, what was it called? Bi-directional cross... Yeah, the bi-directional slotted or something anyways whatever it actually looks really nice and uh, obviously new ceramic pads you're not gonna hear anything uh, so yeah job came out really nice you're almost done there buddy I'm almost done <laughs> I had a harder task going back though oh yeah 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 <laughs> perfect This kit was literally three hundred dollars, right? It was like three hundred something dollars. Uh, no, uh, uh -huh. it came out to uh, you know, there's shipping. Yeah, you're right. It, it cost three seventy five plus shipping and plus taxes. Okay, whatever. So it came out to just under, just over four fifty. Okay, whatever. Let's say for while well, shipping uh, taxes, it, it could vary. Let's say it's four hundred dollars. For four hundred bucks, you get all four all four brick uh, rotors. You get the brake pads, obviously. And they just, they look amazing. Quite frankly, uh, very jealous, but it's its all right. Last video, I installed the downpipes on my car uh, and there's a lot of drone. Like it's really annoying and whatever. You, you'll hear it next video. But uh, what we're gonna be doing is, next video we're doing the PE mod on my exhaust in the back so it kinda quiets down the drone and it's just for fun, I guess. I picked a, up another exhaust on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks, so I said, why not let me give it a shot. I'm gonna bring it over to a shop and they're gonna help me out. So uh, stay tuned for that, and also a lot more power mods, a lot of that stuff coming in the near future, so stick around for that. Guys, remember to drive who drives you, and I'll be catching you guys all in the next video. Yeah. Say peace. Bye, bye. Uh, peace. Peace. <laughs> I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drown in my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows, be better tomorrow Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets My nigga died at only 25, I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26, shit